17, prophets on the scene, wash your souls clean before we go into the gasoline. Took a while to understand, Psalms 111. Brother calling me from Mississippi, trying to build a man. I flushed 14 grams, it made angels rejoice. It made me and Satan divorce, no spouse support. I'm running the course with my hand to the plow. Now, putting in the pepper the way Soldier James taught me how. Break it out, it strengthen my spirit when we in the building. Ain't no feeling like giving the priest. For a priest of giving Preach In MOV conditions Teach Self a second living We Second Timothy 215 Represent us Sheesh With a common interest Prophesy to the wind Reveal the man of sin Endure it to the end We the watchmen watch for Israel, Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel, we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is Officer Simakaya. You are tuning in live. To the Watchmen Radio, the decree of the Watchers. Shalom, Most High Christ bless. I'm Officer Asa. Shalom, Shalom, Most High Christ bless. This is Officer Yokanan. So today we are on episode 16. So today we're going to be discussing mixed and confused. And we know, we understand that there ain't no such thing as mixed. You are what your father is. That's right. But for the sake of... um, wording oh have i don't think can't think of the right word but the title is mixed and confused so let's open up with uh isaiah let's open up with isaiah what you think about politically correct uh that's what they be saying yeah (laughs) give me that in isaiah 
You know the opening scripture. Isaiah 60. Sixty one and six. The book of Isaiah chapter sixty two and six, I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, you are sixty one and six. Oh, sixty two and six. The book of Isaiah chapter sixty two and verse six. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea, they make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. All right, so you can read that again, read a little slower. <laughs> I have set watchmen upon thy walls. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea, that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So you are tuning in to the Watchmen Radio. We are the Watchmen, and we're not keeping silence day nor night. We're bringing you the truth. We're bringing you the things that we've been destroyed as a people. We're showing you how we've been destroyed as a people and the things that the Bible shows us that we shouldn't be doing and the things that the Bible shows us that we should be doing. We're giving you warning of the things that you are in error of so that you can get yourself right. Read on. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And we're going to do so until, until Christ come back and restore us into where we, so in our rightful position, That's the rulers right. of this earth. So as, as I said, the title is Mixed and Confused. Let's pull up that first video. That first video. My mom. Go back. Ever since I go back to was the beginning. Little, Zero, to 15, Zero to fifteen. Zero to fifteen. you hear sit here and they have? I don't know what mixed baby needs to hear this, but it's okay if you drop your white mom. It is. There are so many white mothers who sit here and they have mixed babies, and then they literally destroy us. Hi guys, welcome back so to our channel. In case you're new, my name is Thirty-four. So y'all heard what she said. She said that the, the mixed babies, the white moms destroy them. Read. I Damn. mean, play. My mom, ever since I was little, has been calling black women disgusting and loud and this? dirty and arrogant and ghetto. And for some reason, she fails to realize that I am the same woman she is talking about she fails to realize that there's no difference between us the only difference is the slightly lighter complexion that's it y'all sit here as white women and you have black and brown and asian children and then you literally talk about us like we can't hear you you talk about how we're disgusting and how we leech off the government and how we're not even from America and how we don't even need to have protests for things because everyone's created equal in the first place but then you date white supremacists and bring them into our own fucking houses and you expect us to be comfortable I don't get how y'all can pretend that your kids don't hear you and then be absolutely baffled when they finally do and they finally don't want to be around you so I so you see here, you can see just just by her um, countenance that she's very um, disturbed, distraught, distraught. But that's a result of us not keeping the commandments. But let's start with this. Get Sirach chapter twenty six and verse twenty, because this is what we just watched in this video, and this we got multiple videos where you have different. A mixed baby, quote unquote, that has the same disposition as this young lady has, but it's a problem because it's it goes against God. That's the reason why she's so distraught. She confused. We don't know. And then some of the other videos will go into it. She she don't know anything about her true heritage or her true uh, blackness, quote unquote. But read that real quick. <clears throat> the Book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty six and verse twenty. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession through all the field, sow it with thine own seed. Sow it with what? 
Sow it with thine own seed. So the Bible says that you sow it with thine own seed. That's going into our own nation. So for sake of, um, uh, what's the word? I keep, I keep searching for words that I don't that ain't coming on my mind. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. So in this case, for the understanding that our people have, it says, sow it with thine own seed. So black people should be having babies with black people. Bring it out. As we know in our understanding, Israelites have babies with Israelites. That's right. That's how you keep. It says, it says when thou hast gotten a fruitful, fruitful possession through all thy field, sow it with thine own seed. Read. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. And it says, trusting in the goodness of thy stock. Just touching on that a little bit. The reason why a lot of our brothers go and mess with the other nations of women is because, one, we have been destroyed as a people. So we, by us being destroyed as a people, the black woman don't know how to treat a black man. Hey. The black woman is often in a black man's face, calling him in a B-A-N, hey. cursing him out, putting hey. her fingers all in his face. Hey. So a lot of our black, a lot of so-called black men Leave black women alone because they don't want to deal with that. They don't want to Bring deal with. Out. They don't want to deal with a woman that's in their face, basically snatching their manhood away from them. So a lot of our black men they go and mess with white women, and then this is this is what generally comes of it. But read on. So thy race which thou leaveth shall be magnified. So it says, so thy race which thou leaveth shall be magnified, meaning your your seed gonna continue on. In strength, it's going to be magnified because your children are going to know their heritage. They're not. It's not going to be any confusion. They're going to know. Okay, I'm a. I'm. A, I'm gonna speak in our terms. They're going to know I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. They're going to know who they are, and it's going to be no confusion. Read. Having the confidence of their good descent, and they're going to have confidence of their good descent. What we just watched, and what we're going to see in the in the coming videos. This young lady, she has no confidence in her good descent because she confused. She was raised by a white mother, but she had a black father. So she has no connection to her true heritage. But as, she, as you can see, like she got older. So she got older and she started coming to understand and she started seeing things. And it just creates confusion and distraught. So that's what we're seeing in this. It says, so she doesn't have confidence in her good descent because... She was raised by another nation that can't tell her about her good descent. Play that. Let's pull up that. You got something? Yeah, I was going to point something out, too. A lot of times with uh, our people who unfortunately had his upbringing, their heathen mothers don't want to tell them about their upbringing. They actually hide it from them. Uh, get First address 8 and 70, just this one scripture here. On that, because we not supposed to do that. Because you have confused children; they unsure about they self. Again, the heathen mother hides they background, ashamed of their blackness. Why did they lay down with this? I gotta say it: this nigga, this nigga man, and have this nigga baby. But they try to raise this Israelite baby because that's what you are up as a so-called white woman or white man, even though you not. Read. The book of first Ezra, chapter 8 and verse 7. For Ezra had very great skill, so that he omitted... 8 and 70. First Ezra 8 and 70. The book of first Ezra, chapter 8 and verse 70. A lot of y'all, y'all be having nigga wake-up calls. A lot of y'all, because y'all get put in them environments with Caucasians, uh, so-called Chinese, and then you find out, like, damn, I don't belong here. But your heathen mother convinced you that you do. Read. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, uh -huh. and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Uh -huh. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have partakers of, the, of this iniquity. So... Again, our forefathers, our, the men in our generation, they started dealing with these heathen women and brought forth these children in these situations. And it just adds on more sin, more evil. 
because you you getting far further and further away from your history. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, as a quote unquote reformed and repentant black man, so called black man, you know what? I gotta get on you, black men, right? right? We ain't giving you no passage to make any excuses as to why you step outside of the goodness of your stock, right? It's it's because we don't have, well, the unrepentance of us, we don't have our stuff together. You know what I'm Bring saying? And, and and we fail to see the goodness in a quote unquote black woman. We don't think that the problems that she possess and carry is a reflection of the way we've been treating them. Damn. Of course, we got the world on our back. We got the white man telling us we ain't ish. We got the world telling us we have to live a certain type of way in order to be a man. We got our problems. We got our issues. But we shouldn't run away from continuing to build our nation. And we've, as a nation, got away from building us. Give me uh, where where the officer was reading that back in Ciroc, uh, 26. That again, twenty six and nineteen. The book of and then Sirach. I want to go to Hosea seven and nine. The book of Sirach, chapter twenty six and verse nineteen. My son, keep the flower of thine. A- my my bad. My okay. son, keep the flower of thine aid sound, and give not thy strength to strangers. Give not your strength to strangers. Give not your strength to strangers. Meaning. Don't racially mix. You are a son of God. Do not empower the nations with the gifts that the Lord gave you, which is your seed. Go to Hosea 7 and 9. Bring it out. The book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 9. Strangers have devoured his strength. Give me 8, verse 8. Verse 8. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim had did what? Mixed himself among the people. You hear that? Ephraim diluted himself. Bring it out. The Lord giving us glimpses and insight into what this type of behavior or mixing of the races would do. It says Ephraim had mixed himself. How? Ephraim is a cake not turned. Uh Uh-huh. Strangers have devoured his strength. Have devoured his strength. Right, Reed? And And he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him. Yet he knoweth not. Right. He's stressed out. Right. He don't even understand how the strangers have taken his strength, which means taken the way he was originally created and water him down. Now we so watered down. We got our sisters on TV crying at the fact that her enemy hates her. I, I respect the fact that this sister can see that her mother right. is the devil. Right. I, res- I respect that. Now, we're not teaching you to hate your mama. Right. But if you can see that your mama is the damn devil, recognize that she the devil. The Lord said never trust your enemies. Right? Go. The Lord called the enemy first. It wasn't me. Well, go ahead. Right. And then let's go to Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18 just to paint the picture because there's no such thing as mixed. Right. Because even in case of, of like the officer brought, even in case of this where the black man went and went, went and got with a white woman. That black man should have been there to raise up his black child. That's right. So that she knew her black heritage. Right. And not left with her white mom that, one, don't want to show her her black heritage. And that's devouring her strength. Right. And then can't even do it because she ain't black. That's right. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assemble all the congregations together on the first day of the second month. Uh-huh. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. So they declared their pedigrees or their nationality, their uh national nation of origin. Right. Read. By the house of their father. By the house of their father. So you are what your father is. The father carries the seed. Right. That's right. The woman don't carry the seed. Right. The woman carries the baby. Right. But she's carrying the seed of the man. So if if you are so called mixed, if your father is black, you are a so called black woman or man. Right. That's you're not right. you're or or an Israelite. You're not a, you're not mixed. You're not white and black. You're not uh Asian and black. Whatever you want to call it, that's you confusion. are right. That's confusion. Uh, so play this next video real quick.
A lot of mixed people, including me, have white mothers who do not talk about their blackness during their childhood. White moms or non-black moms can't show you a perspective like how black moms can. And that's not their fault. But we have to find that perspective on our own. Mixed children who have white mothers tend to be more exposed to internalized racism and colorism because of the lack of intersectionality among white feminists. People like, yeah, children with white moms tend to be a little anti-black. And I was like, shoot, I got a white mom. I will admit that there was some definite anti-blackness like stuff when I live with my white mom. And my grandmother sees my brother's shirt and he's wearing a shirt that looks just like this with Malcolm X and the rifle. And my grandma is like, really? Malcolm X? with a gun so violent when you live in a predominantly white area in a country that's controlled by whiteness the information that you receive about black people from society is all just stereotypes this is what can cause them to begin to see their blackness in a negative light because no one at home is mentioning their blackness and how it's powerful and beautiful this is a facebook post from my uncle you can pause to read if you want but basically he was saying that he'll kill any black lives matter or antifa protester if defund the police were to actually be achieved. He knows I'm very passionate about Black Lives Matter and have always been attending or organizing protests. So when he says stuff like that, he's directly threatening my life. So many commenters were saying things like, oh, I didn't know my culture. I have a white mom and I didn't know my culture. Why would you expect a white woman to teach you about your black culture? Where was your black father? And the issue is massage noir, where some black men, not all, but some black men are only with white women because of the closer proximity to whiteness, and they put down their own women and own culture as a result. Us mixed kids need to combat that massage noir as well as the internalized racism. Well, my mom was definitely like this before we met, uh, before we met, before she had me, before they met. Um, and she, ugh, like the family was worse. Like honestly, they had a nickname for my dad. It involved the n-word um that was really hard to to find out so i posted on facebook about neocolonialism and white tourism in the bahamas and here's my white family's response my main problem is with this first sentence please remember that you're half or more white that is so out of pocket like how are you just gonna assume that my ancestors were sexually assaulted like off it. In elementary school, I remember like telling people that I was white. Like I never said black. And if people asked, I would say, oh, well, white and black. I would always put white first. And like, I hated my hair. Like I hated it. If you want your child to be proud of who they are, their blackness is a part of that. You can't just pick and choose parts of our identity that you want to accept and dismiss the other. That just further reinforces the idea that blackness is taboo and negative. You clearly don't know how race works because no, I'm not half white. I'm racially 100% black, just like my mom has green eyes, but that doesn't mean I'm half green eyed. My experience is black, it's all I know. I won't be half denied a job. I won't be half murdered by the police. I am black. That's it. Additionally, mixed people aren't superhuman. You didn't just create a new category of race by sleeping with a black man. Our blackness doesn't just disappear, it's still there. If you say that you don't feel the need to talk about color, then you're just saying that you want to remain ignorant. Not to just our experiences, but also the greatness in our black identity. So just in that video, they said a whole lot. Give me Brute chapter one and 15. Because what we seeing, what Man. you see here is, conf is just straight confusion. Yep. It's, it's straight confusion because a lot of them, like the young man, he actually got some sense because he said he's 100% black. He understands that. At least he, he don't understand it scripturally, but at least he understand that, that, hey, I'm 100% black. Because when I walk down the street, ain't nobody saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a half hate you because you half white. I'm going to half kill you. <clears throat> so read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 1 and verse 15. Read verse, start at 13. Verse 13. No, you know what? My bad. Get Deuteronomy. Hold that. We're going to come back. Get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because I think she says, well, was the, I think it, it, it was, had to be this video because we just watched this video. But they said um, in the early, one of the clips they skipped to, they said something about the one that she said when she mentioned something about the black man, about him, uh, the misogyny. She said something. If y'all can find that real quick, play it. Too far back. I should have stopped it when, when she said it. Go back, go back, go back, go back. 
Go back, go back. Go back. Go back. I think it was her that said it. Go back a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Because I think this is what she said it at. Play, play it. That's a new word. Massage noir. I never directly threatening my life. So many commenters were saying things like, oh, I didn't know my culture. I have a white mom and I didn't know my culture. Why would you expect a white woman to teach you about your black culture? Where was your black father? And the issue is massage noir, where some black men, not all, but some black men are only with white women because of the closer proximity to whiteness. And they put down their own women and own culture as a result. Us mixed so, kids so need to- that's what I wanted. She said, y'all got to help me. I don't remember massage where it was. Why, why would a white woman teach you your black? No, nah, the other one, when she said that black men, because of, black men put down get with white women because of the close proximity. Proximity to whiteness. To whiteness. So that- that's an indication of low self-esteem. Yep. Not trusting the goodness of your stuff. Right, yep, it go right back to Sirach 26. Yeah. But it says it says the close proximity to whiteness. So it's I want my I want my child to have a little whiteness because they, be, they better than us. Read that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's because the what, because what we want you to see plain as day, we are the Israelites. The so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. We are the top nation on the earth. Right. That's what we have to understand. That's what we have to know. So if you know that, you won't go and spill your seed with the other nations because they're inferior to you. Right. Well, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. But thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it says, the Bible says that we are a holy people Unto the Lord our God, read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he, so the Most High God chose us to be a special people unto him. He didn't choose the, the Japanese man, the white man. Bring it out. The, the Asian man. He That's chose right. the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be above all people. Read. Above all people. Above all people. Bring it out. So this Bible that we're reading is about us, as the Israelites, and we are above all people. So that's what we have to understand. And that's just, since we're already in this chapter, let's jump up a couple of verses and see what a problem is. Because when you, when you step outside of your race, that's a sin against the Most High God. Jump up to verse 2. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 2. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them. And utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. So this is when we were coming out of the land of Egypt. The Most High was bringing us into the land of Canaan, which was our land. He was just returning us to it. So when he's doing that, he said, don't we on me not to make any covenant with them or any of that. Read on. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. So he let us know in the door, don't marry they, don't marry they women. Don't give your sons to they to they, to they uh to they daughters. Just um, uh, annihilate them. Read. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son. Uh huh. Nor his daughter shall shall thou take unto thy son. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. They gonna do what? For they shall for they will turn away thy son from following me. That's what we watching in these videos. If you got a a, a white mother raising a black child. She's not going to teach you about none of your heritage or your That's history right. at all. She can't. And then her, her, her father and her brothers and her sisters going to hate you and disdain. That's what we just watched. She's going to turn you away from following the most high God. Read on. That they may serve other gods. Uh-huh. So with the anger of the Lord be kindled against you. And destroy these suddenly. So that's what we're living in today. We're living in destruction. We're living in, in turmoil. That's why these things are happening to us. Now go back to Baruch chapter 1. Bring it out. Start at verse 13. The book of Baruch chapter 1 and verse 13. Bring it out. Pray for us also unto the Lord our God. Uh huh. For we have sinned against the Lord our God. Read. And unto this day, the fury of the Lord and his wrath is not turned from us. That's what's on us right now this day. We're reading in Baruch. This is back in the past. But right now, the same thing is going on in our communities today. That's why you got black men going and dealing with other nations. Because they have, they have no esteem. They don't know that they, a lot of our, our men, well, I didn't say a lot, our men do not know 
that we are the greatest nation on the face of the earth. That's and when right. you go and sleep with other nations, you weaken your own race. <laughs> you, you're, just, you're destroying your own race. Yes, that child, your child is of your seed, yet that child is an Israelite, but that child is going to grow up with a white mother that, that shows hatred and disdain like we just showed. The white mother is, is speaking about black women. Oh, they so nasty. Da, 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 da. Your child is black. So that, that child going to grow up seeing this, and when they get of age, when they understand it, like, wait a minute, my mother hate me. Right. All my life, I seen her point and, and point and talk about black women. I'm black. So, dang, I ain't nothing. Why are you a racist? So that's what, we, that's what happens. Read. Verse 14. And you shall read this book. Jump, we, jump to 15. Verse 15. And ye shall say to the Lord, our God belongs with righteousness. The Most High God is righteous. Ain't, ain't, ain't no evil or wickedness in the Most High God. Right. We in a position that we in because we broke his commandments. But read right. on. But unto us, the confusion of faces. Unto us, the confusion of faces. We don't know where we come from. We don't know what's going on. We completely lost. We confused. And it's even worse when you have, when you have a, 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 a mother of another nation. Because now you really don't know what's going on. You barely connected to the, the history that we do know about. About us going into slavery and things like that. You're confused. You're conflicted. Because you have a, you have a black father and a white mother. You're confused. Read on. Let's finish that verse out. As it has come to pass this day. Uh -huh. To them of Judea and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So this is the, this is the thing we must understand. It is, the, like we read in Deuteronomy 7 and 3, it is a sin for an Israelite man or Israelite woman, the black, Hispanic, and Native American, to deal with any other nation outside of your people, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's a sin. And the, and the judgment for that sin when you do it and you have children is this. Your children grow up confused. They don't know which way is right. You just want to bring something out? Yeah, I was. it was some in here. I don't know if, if y'all was paying attention. You know what's messed up? Brothers, because you go into your lust and you hate your people and you father children with these heathen women, these children have to endure racial slurs and attacks by oh, yeah. so-called family members. I don't know if y'all caught that. The brother said his uncle was posting racist photos on Facebook Talking about how he'll kill black folks. Damn. And his nephew is black. So you you can't post stuff like that and then it's just like, oh, I'm not my nephew. No. Uh, that's the nephew that your sister has birthed. So brothers, you gotta have you gotta have more self-love. You gotta stop hating your own people. That's what that is. That's hatred. You hate. Your people. Right. She used the term uh, close proximity to whiteness, right? Yep. As if the, the deed that they're doing by mixing these children is making the world a better place. It's not. That answer or that solution of mixing with them to make this a more better place for us to get along, that's not the answer. Because you're setting your child into the lion's den. Yep. You're setting your child into a place where they are hated. And it's it's it's, it's there are accounts that what I'm saying is not false. These children who live through the hatred from their mother, they're telling you that this don't work. That's not the way. The hey. Lord already told you first and foremost that that's not the way. But then listen to the accounts of the children who are, are born of these mixed beds. It's not the way. Then the scriptures say, uh, yo, yo, the sinner being good confidence, I'm butchering it. They not confident. Every last Brother or sister, we see on here, bro, they unsure they self. They don't, well, you know, I feel like this. Self-esteem is to the ground. All of them got one spirit in their eyes. It, they all look the same. They very sad and frustrated. Yep. I don't know if y'all picked that up, but they, they look miserable. They, they don't look like they all there together. Like they on the ledge. Like if you just push them, they going yep. to flip out. Hey. So uh, let's pull up the next video. And while they're they pulling up the next video, real quick, read 1 Corinthians chapter 7. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 13. Now, what we're going to read, 
it's more so going into a a dealing with the Israelites that you got an unbelieving spouse, things like that. You got an unbelieving spouse, one believe, one don't believe, the children to be unclean. Look, read that real quick. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter <clears throat> 7 and verse 13. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her, leave, let her not leave him. Read. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. So, for clarity's sake, this is talking about an unbelieving husband that's an Israelite. And it's talking about a believing wife that's an Israelite. And we read up further, it's the vice versa. This is talking about two, two Israelites that's in this position. But the same concept that we're about to read, the same concept applies to these so-called mixed babies. Read. Else were your children unclean. It says, else were your children. Read now, read that verse all the way through. Verse 14, read it again. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Uh-huh. So in the case of two Israelites, the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife because he's keeping the commandments because he wants to stay with his wife. Read. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Same thing, vice versa. Read. Else were your children unclean. So now in this, in this, what it's saying is else were your children unclean, meaning that if one, if the husband believed but the wife didn't believe, that means the, the husband is teaching, the, teaching the, the child the commandments, but the wife is teaching the, the child idolatry, how to go to Christianity and, and be a, a Muslim and, and follow after white Jesus. It's the same concept because the ch child is unclean, meaning that child is confused. That child don't know which way is right because his mother doing one thing, but his father doing something else. That's the same way we looking at these mixed children, these so-called mixed children. Their father is black, but their mama is white. So they like, which way do I go? And do I go to the black side? Do I go to the white side? We all know that if they have a black father, they black, but they don't know that because if they grow up with, especially if they grow up in the house alone, just with their white mother, they have no connection to, of knowing their history at all. They confused. That's what it means when it says they are unclean. Right, right. Hey. They, they very, oh, I'm going to hand it right to you. They, oh, go ahead, they, go ahead. Those, those mixed children, they face a hatred that you and I will never be able to understand right. because they're right. not really accepted by either side. Hey. One side say they ain't white enough. The other side say they ain't black yep, enough. Yep. And that creates self-hatred. It creates a sense of, no self-worth, so you're putting your children in a worse-off condition than you re actually realize. Right. Hey, uh, if I could get a scripture Go real ahead. quick. Malachi 2 and 11. Bring just two verses in this chapter. Because we can't, we can't overlook our brothers because you put these children in this predicament right. because you hate your people. Right. That's why when Kanye West said that in his song back in the early 2000s, when he get on, he leave your ass for a white girl. That's what brothers do. If they get in any good position, you have to have what they call, because the modern term, a foreign thing. Hey. They got to have a woman that is not they race. Some exotic. Right. Right. All these fancy terms for a woman that is not your race, she got to be on your arm. That's your trophy. That's, right. that's how you gauge your success. Meanwhile, they only deal with you when you got money. Right. Uh, Malachi 2, verse 11. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 11. Judah have dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and Jerusalem. What's that abomination? Read. For Judah have profaned the holiness of the Lord which he loved, and uh -huh. have married the daughter of a strange God. This is what brothers do. That daughter of a strange guy is them heathen women. Hey. And this ain't just for this video because it's a modern video. What brothers do when they was in the, when they was in the army? When they talk about when brothers went to Vietnam, brothers yep. was sleeping with the women over there in Vietnam, yep. dropping seed. Them yep. kids grow up, they confused. Hey. What am I? Am I Vietnamese or am I black? You put these kids in that situation. It was another sister in um Japan. She went on some singing show. Mama was Japanese, and you know in Japan they mock us. In China, they mock us, put our face next to monkeys and all this. And she in the same predicament as the ones with the white mamas. Right. Getting shamed, embarrassed. God said you did an abominable thing, brothers. Hey. Jump to verse 14. That's all 11. 
Yes, sir. 14. Verse 14. Yet ye say, wherefore? Because the Lord have been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth. Uh-huh. Because uh, the wife of your youth should have been a woman of your race, right. brothers. Read. Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion uh -huh. and the wife of thy covenant. And that's talking about the wife of your youth, the woman of your nation. She posed to be the woman of that covenant, the wife of your youth. But you cast her aside. I remember a brother told me uh, he moved somewhere. He said the white women look better than the black women. I said, yeah. bro, how? How? What are you smoking on? Is you serious? When they turn 22, they look like they 56. <laughs> right. You can't make this up. <laughs> That's that self-hatred. And if you notice, a lot of the brothers who be trying to take up for injustice, you yep. find out who they married to. Yep. Same thing with the women. The black women. Oh, I well, maybe that's not really what happened. And then you go to their Instagram, they were Esau. Right. Now, Every time. <clears throat> go ahead. Go. So following up with that, get Tobit chapter 4 and 12. Tobit chapter 4 and 12. Because that's that's a that's a uh it's a it's a uh, it's a dilemma in the black community because hell, you know, even a lot even a lot of us, we grew up and, and it, it was it was like a uh a, a prize seeing a brother with a white woman. It was a prize. You know the dumb ish they say? What? <laughs> about a black man getting with a white woman? Y'all ain't never heard how they say um, that's get back or that's payback for all the rape that they did to oh, our wait. Wow. We gonna We gonna sleep with all they women. <clears throat> so the character don't be a menace, he real. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, that's wow. the, that's the that's mindset a that a lot of brothers have. We gonna knock them all down because they knocked us down. That's oh man. Shame. So that's that that's in a movie, but that's a real mentality. Jeez. Well, let's read that real quick. The book of Tobit, chapter 4, and verse 12. Oh, beware of all whoredom. So it says, beware of all whoredom. Normally, when you hear that word whoredom, you hear you you just think about a, a man that's going to pick up prostitutes and things right. like that. But read on. Let's see what this whoredom is. Read. Beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. Take a wife of what? Of the seed of thy father. And notice it says take a wife. It don't say go and go and just sleep with this woman over there. Hey. That hoe over there. Hey. That white woman over there. Hey. It says take a wife. Is, that, is that singular or plural? It's singular. And, oh, and it's singular. Oh. It says chiefly take a wife. Not wives. It says, take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. That's right. That goes right back to what we read in Numbers 1 and 18, that you are what your father is, the seed of thy fathers. It don't say the seed of your mothers. It says the seed of thy fathers because the man carries the seed. The, man, the man's sperm determines if it's going to be a boy or a girl. It's yep. the seed. Read on. And take not a strange woman to wife. And take not a strange woman to wife. That strange woman would be a so-called Caucasian woman, a hey. Japanese woman, hey. an Asian woman. Hey. Uh, uh, give me some more. Arab. East Indian, Arab. Hey. You are not supposed to take. Those are strange women. They are not our people. We're supposed to take woman, a woman of our own kindred. Read on. Which is not of thy father's tribe. Uh-huh. But we are the children of the prophets. We are the children of the prophets. Your, your wife is supposed to come from the nation of Israel. Hey. The blacks, Hispanics, or the native and the Native Americans. Read on. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh-huh. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. Our forefathers married wives of their own kindred. That's the right. problem today is we've been discontinued from our heritage. Hey. So we don't know these things. So we just go by default and follow after the ways of the wicked. The, way, the wicked ways of our forefathers, that, of, our, of our fathers that we have seen doing these things. But this, we, we, what we're telling you is this goes, it goes against the Most High God. It goes against your creator. You're not supposed to do that. Read on. And we're blessed in their children. Uh huh. And, and when and now read that again. Read that. Read. Uh. You know what? Read the whole verse again. 
Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers, mm -hmm. and take not a strange woman to, to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets, nor Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh -huh. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred, right. and were blessed in their children. And they said they, they, they married wives of their own kindred, and they were blessed in their children. Well, we're watching right here. They are cursed because they confused. Right. They don't know what's going on. Right. You have destroyed your child because you slept with another nation. Now your child grows up, growing up with a, a identity issue. Yeah, yeah, we already got identity issues when our, both our parents is black. We get it's right. bad enough. We got identity <laughs> yeah, issues because right. we don't even know who we are. And you make it worse because now you go sleep with another nation, and now your child grow up with the with the, the hatred of both worlds. Bruh. Because now she they she or he grows up, and they they witness the hatred because they got a they got a white they got a white mom, but then they go to school and they get hated by white people. So they're looking like, wait a minute, whoa, their whole life is confusion. Read. And their seed shall inherit the land. Read on. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren. That's what I think the officer brought it out earlier. You hate your people when you go and sleep with the other nations. So in conjunction with taking a seed, taking a, a wife of the seed of your fathers, now it's saying... Now that's love thy brethren. When you do that, you love your people. You that's love right. your nation. But when you don't do that, you're wiping out your own nation because now your 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 so-called mixed daughter, or you can say, I'm gonna say instead of saying mixed, I'm gonna say your your confused daughter or son, they may grow up and now they're gonna continue that, especially the daughters. It's worse for them because if they continue that process, they go get them a Caucasian man, your seed is gone. Yeah. Because now she's going to be raising up seed to the Caucasians. Yep. Read. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren, uh -huh. and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, the sons and daughters of, of thy people, and not taking a wife of them. So you hate your, you hate your people when you uh -huh. don't take a wife of them. When you don't take a wife of the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, it shows that you have hatred for your own people, which shows that you hate yourself. Because how you how you can't go and get a woman that looks just like you? That don't even make no sense. They don't want to. So that shows that you even hate yourself. And it show, and that hatred stems out your children, because now your children grow up confused. What the hell is uh, this? Is that it on that verse? No, sir. Read on. For in pride is destruction. And much trouble. And that's that's a spirit of pride. And we we all know well that scriptures say uh pride be, uh, uh, what does it say? Pride comes be, goes before destruction yep. and a haughty spirit before fall. <laughs> that's what's going on. You you men that's out here having babies by the other nations, you are destroying your lineage. Even though your child is your seed, <laughs> you're destroying your lineage because you're destroying their mindset. Read on. And in lewdness is decay and great want. Uh huh. For lewdness is the mother of famine. You are wiping out your own heritage by doing these things. So let's play that next video. As a mixed person, there's a lot of things that piss me off about white girls saying they want mixed babies. Other than the obvious fetishization, oh my god, I can't say that fucking word. Other than the fact that we all know when they say mixed babies, they have a certain idea in their mind, which is light skin with light eyes, white features, and like 2C to 3B hair. But what pisses me off most is that we all know they're not ready to put in the work of having a mixed kid. Go ahead, ask any of these white girls. Are you ready to learn how to do their hair? Are you ready for the constant questions of if they're a dog? They can't do their hair, their babies period. Are? Are you ready for the racism they're going to face? Are you ready to deal with their identity crises? Are you ready to learn about black culture and how to immerse your kid in it? And most of all, are you ready for when your kid comes out looking different from what you expected? Are you ready for your kid to come out with 4A to 4C hair? Are you ready for your kid to come out with dominant black features? Are you ready for your kid to come out dark skin? Ask them any of these questions and they'll either say no or make up some sort of bullshit excuse that we all know is false. That is my biggest issue. The fact that if any of these girls do end up with mixed children, they're going to raise them as if they're white kids, which will only end up with them having really big issues with our identity in the future. So, 
this is another saying that this is the same exact thing. You, you see the same thing that's perpetuating through all of these videos that we're watching, where it's the same issues they confused. Well, she just pointed out the issues that the white mom would have. She wouldn't be able to do their hair. She wouldn't be able to, she, she won't, a lot of, what we've seen with a lot of them, they grow up having self-hatred because they have black features. They don't have the features of, that they expected, but they have the, they have the predominantly black features and that, 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 that uh, mother grow up hating them. Showing them hatred, to, uh, basically turning them away from their people, and they grew up confused and 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 and, and misunderstood, with low self-esteem, all of those things. Um, give me Joshua. You're talking about twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three and eleven. Hey, you know something else too? As as I was looking at this, um, them white mothers. They cannot relate to the struggles that black folks go through. Right. That go for y'all what, brothers. What, what if they're hillbilly? Yeah. What if the hill can the hillbilly mothers relate? Hell no. Hell no. But they but they hilly. They they hillbilly. They grew up in the ghetto. Hell no. What about the ones that grow up in Inglewood with the What about with the, the trailer black? park trash? Oh hell no. Nope. What about the ones that grow up? What about the ones that grow up in the neighborhood with the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? They there by choice. No. They that by choice, but they can't relate. So when that child see Trayvon Martin, mm -hmm. Amara Aubrey, the list goes on. When the right. child asks, why is this happening? The mother going to give some absurd, crazy answer. Right. Flip side, you in a relationship with them. You pissed off that your people getting killed. I don't like this. Well, you don't know what they did. Huh? Y'all two different manner of people. Get right. Genesis 21, 25 and 21. Straight to the point, uh, that verse when it say two manner of people. Y'all not, we not going to see eye to eye. That's all right. heathens. Though this is Esau, that's all heathens. So then when the woman from any of them races that we name has this Israelite baby, it's, it's contention. They don't see eye to eye because they're not the same people. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 23. Read. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Uh -huh. And two manner of people, and two manner of people shall be separated. Shall be what? Shall be separated. They're not going to be one. I don't care if y'all sleeping together. They don't understand your plight. They don't know what it is to be in the ghetto, in the slums. They don't know what it is to be excluded from certain things. You can't get into certain schools. You can't get certain jobs, even if you get qualified. They don't know what that feel like. They don't know the fear every time you get pulled over, even when you ain't got nothing going on. They don't understand that. That's why... For the children that's in this situation, that's why your, your mother don't understand. She'll never understand. For those of you that's dealing with these people, that's why y'all will never come on common ground. Anything that happened to your people, they find some way to justify it because y'all what? Read that again. And two men of people shall be separated. Shall be what? Separated. Y'all separated. No. Nobody has suffered like the children of Israel. The only person that's going to understand your sufferings is another Israelite. Period. That's it. So let's read that real quick in um, Joshua. Joshua 23. The book of Joshua, chapter 23, and verse 11. Take good heed, therefore, unto yourselves, that ye love the Lord your God. So the Bible so, God, so the Bible saying, take good heed, meaning take caution. That you love the Lord your God. How are you gonna love the Lord your God in this context? Read. Else, <clears throat> if ye do and otherwise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations. If you go back and cleave to the remnant of these nations, or go have babies by the Caucasian, you go have babies by them. Read. Even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them. Uh huh. And go into them, and they to you. Read. Know for a certainty. That the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you. Uh-huh. 
but they shall be snares and traps unto you. They shall be snares and traps unto you. Your child growing up being confused, that's a snare and a trap. Because now your child don't know which way is right. Your child don't know, they don't know who they are. They don't always be confused. That's a snare and a trap. Read. And scourges in your side. Uh-huh. And thorns in your eyes. And when you see these things, you see this, you have a, you, you, you in a, a good relationship with your daughter and she's going through these things, that's a scourge in your side because every time you see her, every time you communicate with her, it's like, dang, man, why I do that? I done, I done destroyed my child's life. I done messed my, it, it's a scourge in your side because it's going to mess with you mentally. For the, it's going to mess with you mentally for the rest of your life. So, you got something? Let me go to commercial after this. Yeah, just a, a brief point. What the, when you was bringing this out, officer, what popped in my head, brothers be wondering when, why when they mess with these heathens it go wrong or they get in the jam. God told you that's what's right. going to happen. Yep. How many celebrities you seen getting bad situations from dealing with heathen women? Yep. Who, who was that one brother who he played? I forget it was a Marvel movie. And he was running from the Edomite out the car, right? They, they seen uh, closed circuit. Jo Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Right, right. He um was he he's one of the newer actors. One of the newer actors, one of the newer Marvel actors. I forget the role he played, but it was like a godlike character in Ant Man. Kane, I think his name is. His name Kane. Kane. Anyway, after all these different years of seeing celebrities get with Edomites and then it go bad. He found himself in a situation where he had to get out the vehicle and run away from it. Damn. And he Damn. still was charged with battery. You niggas Damn. are crazy. Damn. So we'll be right back after these commercials. No sé para mañana, todavía hay luego toco jara Y se lista no dominicana, todos los días así que la ley Yeah, yeah, yeah Every day we seek it out, yeah, yeah, yeah Just the one that they in my brain, yeah, yeah Siempre, siempre, siempre
Rejecting God's laws is a doctrine to a fool. Ironic how the curses are a blessing to the Jews. Writing like scribes with the pen as a tool. So we murder with the ink until Jah rules. So hallelujah. Hosanna to the highest. The prophets with the light, the men, aura shines brightest. Prophets prepared words on papyrus for the pious. Turning minds back to the father like Elias. In this game of throne, y'all bitter like Cersei. Murmur with the same lips, begging for mercy. The rock gave us water when we was thirsty. Desired since your milk, so he nursed me. Died to live so I can live when I die. Change so I can change in the twinkling of an eye. Transform so I can transform. It's my heavenly glow. All praises to the most high. Moses within a bush, Jacob within a dream. The rock issued a stream, angels at my high and mean. Fire to five cities, incinerate everything. When oxen made us clean, and blood sprinkles its own. Ephods has shown with twelve glorious stones. Silver shall far blown twice early in the moon. Law within our minds, the promises in our bones, the covenant in our tongue, the temple upon the hill. Hallelujah was sung, the mercy sea was concealed. Prophets walking the earth, wisdom being revealed. Looking up in the heavens. See a will within a will When kings ruled over lands and wars waged with swords Bows and battle axes in the name of the Lord We fought until we won When God stopped the sun Like him there is none Our story just begun It helps because men must recognize what they are. When I say men must recognize what they are, men are inventors. Men are builders. Men are planners. Men are architects and engineers in spirit. If these children are our future, how could it be that we're not investing in them? But we can go to other communities and they be like, I've never even seen the inside of a prison. I don't know anybody that's been in jail. All my family is college educated. Everybody in my family has a business. But in our community, that ain't the case. Now, recently, a 13-year-old boy just got killed trying to steal a car in our city. Recently. These are the type of things that's going on amongst our youth. Why aren't we changing our mindset? What are we going to do? Why can't we do this for them? And then I start my day, honestly, with bad news every single day. That, that vision thing is super important. You must be able to breathe mentally. You must be able to envision and plan and direct. And whenever men don't get the opportunity for whatever reason, and that and that fire is in them that wants to get out, then it comes out in misplaced aggression, which which leads to quote unquote black on black crime, murders, everything else. Because we try to live, but feel restricted. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. These are the basic laws that's that's being ignored in our community, and this is the reason why we're catching the catching the problems that we catch. All right, all right, we are back. We are That's back. Right. And what are we going over, AC? We're going over lust. Going over lust, a particular type of lust. Some specific. Which is interracial marriages and quote unquote mixed kids. Bring it out. Can I get those images, uh, BT? Let me get those images. Uh, while we get those images, hold on before you show them. Let's read Tobit chapter 8. So much chapter eight, uh, verse seven. The book of Tobit, chapter eight and verse seven. And now, O oh Lord, I take not this my sister. My who? Us. This my sister. My sister. First and foremost, the white woman is not the black man's sister. Bring it out. You understand that? 
What we have to do is we have to come back to the understanding of who we are, who our people are, what the parameters of how we supposed to move around in this earth. And the Lord said, you supposed to take your sister in a fashion that don't resemble lust. A lot of our people are in whoredom because they are filled or burned in their lust. We've been trained by Willie Lynch and colorism that he taught, put the white against the black, put the dark against the, the light, and we apply that same spectrum that we used to look through back in the slavery because the lighter skinned people got preference. The dark, darker skinned people were forced to work in the fields, forced, forced to do jobs that the lighter skinned people didn't really have to do. Feel nigga house nigga. Feel nigga house nigga. So, we still choosing to be with so-called white people for the fact of our destruction is so prominent. Keep reading. Right. And now, oh Lord, I take not this my sister for lust. I take not this my sister for lust. Let's get those images up. Let's see those images. Take not these sisters for lust. Look at these sisters. These are some, go back to that sister with the red. These are some beautiful sisters, right? What's keep playing, keep playing, slide through. What's wrong with trying to get to understand these women, knowing who they are, knowing what issues that that that, that they face? As being a man, how you can actually guide her and protect her from the evils of the world that want to see her naked, that want to see her uh, put herself out there in a fashion to where she would destroy herself or destroy her children, because these chi these sisters actually raise up the children. And if you look around, the children that we have in the earth today are monsters. You know, they monsters because no one's giving these sisters time of day and showing them the love of God. We have to come out of the, the lust that we are uh, 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 overcome with so that we can actually be the men of God that we supposed to be. If you, did you finish that? No, sir. Go ahead, finish it. And now, oh Lord, I take not this, this my sister for lust, but uprightly. But uprightly, meaning she falls into the parameters of who a wife should be for an Israelite, which is another Israelite herself. Right? Therefore, merciful, mercifully ordained. And, and, and also, he didn't rush. He didn't jump the gun. He got to know the sister. We, exactly. we have to prove sisters. We can't. Ain't no such thing as love at first sight. You see a person right. on first sight and you want to jump their bones, that's nothing but lust. Stop being that. a damn fool. Stop being a damn fool. Absolutely. He reading. Therefore, mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. And that's what marriage is about. You being under the subjection of the Lord, asking for his continued guidance and mercy so that the two of you can grow old together. All right. That's it. So let's let's go ahead and pull up the next video. The next video. Let's and real quick get 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Break just on the basis of that. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Because one thing that you we have to understand is that what the purpose of us bringing these things out is to raise your the, the awareness to, to the black man. That you got to get your mind right. The white woman is not the trophy. They not a prize. They not the superior that's race. That's right. Because that's what floats floats around in the in the black community. Yep. The, the the so called Caucasian woman is looked at as a prize or a trophy because it's uh, it's it's portrayed that they are better or greater people than we are. No, hey, we just read it and go ahead. I ain't mean cut you. Go ahead. Off. No, you good. One these women. Standing in the, the postcard pictures with us getting lynched. Absolutely. Exactly. I'm I'm confused. Yep. They was in agreement with you getting killed. Smiling. Yep. Cheesing. Family photo. You dangling from the tree. And a lot of them was initiating. Hell no. There you go. So uh read that real quick. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter six and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So this is what you men got to understand. It says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. If you're dealing with another nation, yeah, that's, a, that's an unbeliever. The, the scripture, where is the, where the scripture say? Where it says, um, they, have, they, have uh, they have not kept our command, the commandments, only Israel. Uh, I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. But let's finish reading this. Um, it said, only Israel have kept our law. Read that, finish reading. 
Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Uh huh. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? You're an Israelite. You keep the commandments. Well, you're supposed to be keeping the commandments. The commandments were given to you. You there's no fellowship with an unrighteous nation, a nation That's that right. has nothing to do with the Most High God. Because God didn't give them, them his commandments. We are the, the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are God's chosen people. We were given his commandments. We are the only nation on earth. We got that. Let's get that real quick. Second Ezra 3 and 36. So behold that. We're coming back to 2 Corinthians. The book of 2 Ezra. Chapter 3 and verse 36. Freedom. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, uh -huh. but not the heathen. It says what? Read it again. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts. So Israel by name, the Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says we by name have kept God's commandments. Read. But not the heathen. But not the heathen. Not the Caucasian. Not the Asian. Not the... The 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 uh the Korean, not the the Japanese. Bring it out. Not the 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 the, the Hamites. No, none of them have kept the commandment. No, nah, no, nah, officer. This country was founded on the laws of God. I think you nah, read it wrong. Nah, this this country oh, wasn't founded man. on this 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 country was founded on Caesar Bosé. Even they money saying out. God we trust. Fix. Not the God of this Bible. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere, nowhere. Christian we country. Go to, uh, ah, I just slipped. Psalms 147 and 19. Yep. Just to prove it further. Because here we just read, it says, Only Israel hath kept thy commandments by name, not the heathen. Precept upon precept. So let's read that. Psalms 147 and 19. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Uh huh. His statutes and his judgments. Unto Israel. So the, the 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 commandments was given to the nation of Israel because Jacob name was changed to Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. He hasn't dealt with any other nation like he's dealt with the Israelites. We are the only people of this. This Bible is our history book. God only deals with us. We the only nation that has a real God. All of these other are the gods of these other nations, like the scriptures say are idols they don't exist so like the officer mentioned it's the on the back of the dollar bill it's saying god we trust that's not the god of this bible that's, Bring right. it that's out. not the god of the israelites they out. they don't they they have disdain towards this bible right they don't keep the things that are written in this bible they stole our book from us then reintroduced it to us under another name under a white jesus you gotta shut your white mouth i'm not kidding <laughs> Can I get a precept? Uh, let me finish the second Corinthians. Well, it's on okay. that point. It's on that point. Go ahead, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Psalms 50 and uh, 16. 16 yeah, and 17. That popped in my head too. Be <coughs> because the, 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 the thing is that these people claiming to be holy, they claiming to be godly, and they really not. They not. The scriptures uh, bear witness and reveals who they spiritually is. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Uh -huh. Seeing that thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. You hate instruction and you cast the words of God behind <laughs> your back, speaking about the heathen. Go ahead. I just want to add that. So... The, the just just to reiterate, the na other nations have never kept the commandments of God. Never. So when you when you try to look at them like they superior and things like that, no, 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 you got it all twisted. That's right. Because if they was if they were superior, wouldn't they actually dominate in some things? You know, like everything. Like we we on the bottom, but we still dominate just about anything we get involved in. Yep. Everything. That that lets you know that. We are the superior. So like the officer brought out with the with our women, why would you leave our women? And I know in this I know in this in a in a in an unrepentant state, a lot of our women, they destroyed. Yes. We've been destroyed through slavery. The women and the men 
been destroyed through slavery. Those men are not equipped with fixing her, though. Right. So, I ain't gonna say I, I ain't gonna say I understand that because I just can't see you you leaving you leaving the the the, the black woman for for a woman that get that that don't have anything that a white woman I mean that a black woman has. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Uh, PG. PG. Yeah. But you leave. You leave. I'm just gonna leave. You it leave alone. natural for lip fillers. You right. Leave natural for BBLs. Right. You leave natural for plastic. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? You leave. You, you got the words I don't have for Barbie. Right. What, what's right. that? Yeah. Uh, oh man. Right. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh man. man. <laughs> Fix a flat. <laughs> go. 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 <laughs> Damn. So, brothers, you downgrading. You not upgrading. Downgrading. downgrading. What Joe exactly. said about them? What, what, what Joe called them? Oh, man. And yeah, we want to be all up in them. Joe yeah. called him a dog. He said, I wouldn't even let my dog yeah, sit next no. to him. Oh, man. They let their dogs eat with them and everything. They kiss right. their dogs. Kiss their dogs. All, all level of, of abominations. Right. Let's pull up. Let's play, play that next video. So you know how we be kicking that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials, right? This is an actual sociological phenomenon that I really think we could trace back to slavery. Stay with me. Go back. Hey, beautiful people. How are you doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a video of a black sister coming on TikTok to explain the difference between a black mama biracial child and a white mama by Rishu child. I know this is a conversation we've had here on this channel, but this beautiful queen's take on it, it's like, for me, I'm just like, is she onto something? Like, for real, are you onto something, girl? Anyway, guys, I need you guys to see this video and then we'll talk. So you know how we be kicking that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials, right? This is an actual sociological phenomenon that I really think we could trace back to slavery. Stay with me. So back in the day, the child would take on the status of the mother, which means that no matter how much blackness you had in you, if your mama was a slave, your mama could have been a mulatto, a crajoon, a full black woman. If she was a slave, you would therefore be a slave. So you had children who had white slave owning daddies, but were being raised, the labor of raising was on their black and slave mothers. And whether or not we want to admit it, Culture came out of slavery, right? So not only were these children taking on the status of being enslaved, they were taking on the cult culture of being enslaved. They were taking on norms, music, language, etc. They were being, they were seeing themselves as black people, regardless of their genetic makeup. And their black enslaved mothers had to navigate that with them. They had to raise them through that. And white men were able to continue procreating these biracial children with no consequence. So much so that there were laws saying you couldn't technically grape a black enslaved woman because black enslaved women were naturally promiscuous. But on the flip side, black enslaved men weren't really having kids with white women like that. They, <laughs> they literally would be caught dead if they did. White women would still sexually assault them or if there was a sexual relationship, the black men would just be accused of assault if they got caught and we've seen that play out for decades. So by the time the interracial relations became legal, there had been centuries of white men being able to grip impregnant black women and black women having to raise those children as their own and embed them within slave culture and black culture. But black men never had to do that same type of labor. If anything, black men actually being able to legally be with white women was a way for them to remove themselves from their blackness. Coveting a white woman became a form of like a revolutionary act because then you're coveting the white man's woman. This literally explains so much because black men in the context of interracial relations, black men never had to have the labor of having a biracial child and yet still having to explain and raise that child in the status of your own, having to explain to this child their blackness, having to explain why the world sees them this way, why they're being treated this way, helping them navigate their experience in blackness. So then if you throw in on top of that, the weird exploitative nature of black men and white women being together in a relationship, where white women have All always right, so that's, sexualized that's, black men, and now we, black we, men are like- We can end this video, so I just thought about it. I didn't finish up Second Corinthians, so I'm gonna backtrack and then come back so let's finish that. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, six and 16, 16, wherever we left off at. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Where you go? 
Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Uh -huh. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Read. And what communion have light with darkness? Read. And what concord have Christ with Belial? There's no, there's no, there's, there is no communion. There is no connection between the Israelites and the other nations. If you're messing with the other nations, you're going off into idolatry, you're going off. And the Most High going to judge you. That's why we're in the conditions that we are in. And even just tying it with this video we just watched. If you have a, if, if it's a, 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 a Caucasian father and a black mama, that child is white. That child is a Caucasian. So that's even more confusing because now this child going to grow up and the black mama is going to be teaching the child their history as if they black. And they're not. And they're going to grow up. And they're going to think they, they, that they're going to they're gonna grow up thinking that they're black. And then when they get of age, when they get to that, well, I'm going to say it, when they get to Judgment Day, they're going to be sadly mistaken. So they're going to get a, a, a crack of wake up call. Yep. <laughs> they're going to be sadly mistaken. And that's just the even the the, the the even the the more levels to the confusion of it. You just you even the, the black woman. That's where you go and mess with Caucasian men. You you're wiping out your own heritage. You're wiping out your father's. Um, you don't carry your father's name, but you are wiping out your own nation because now you 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 you're going over into the. The other side. You letting your vessel be used to bring forth another nation right. as opposed to bringing forth your own nation. Yep. What the hell is this? And that, that's just, that's evil in itself. <laughs> that, that's that low self-esteem. That's that you, you trying to, you trying to feel, you trying to feel your own, you trying to feel the void yourself oh, of your low self-esteem and things like that. And it's not going to work. The only solution is this Bible. Well, let's read. Right. Let's read. Let's finish reading this. Bring it out. Verse 15. And what concord have Christ with Belial? Uh -huh. Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? Uh -huh. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? There's no, there's no agreement. Read. For ye are the temple of the living God. You blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are the temple of the living God. That's right. This Bible is for you. The word of God. The word of God was made to dwell in you. The Holy Spirit was made to dwell in you, not the other nations. But because of our destruction, we destroyed, we broke God's commandments. Now we're going off in all type of evil. We're doing all type of things that we should not be doing. We don't. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. Uh huh. And I will be their God. And they shall be my people. That's the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. not for all people. Read. Wherefore, come out from among them. So this is the solution. This is the solution to fix the issue of the biracial children. You can't, you can't change the ones that's already here, but you can change going forward. It says, come out from among them. Read. And be ye separate. And be ye separate. You black men, stop messing with these other nations. Bring because it out. If you, when you have children, your child is going to grow up confused. Up. Read. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. Uh huh. And touch not the unclean thing. They are unclean. You have to understand that. They are unclean. They are an unclean thing. When you're dealing with the Caucasian, you're dealing with the Asian, you're dealing with whatever other race. Outside of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are unclean. Read. And I will receive you. And then the Most High God will receive you. If you're going in the Christian church, you're going in whatever, you think you're praying to the Most High God, and you think that he's answering your prayers, no, you are sadly mistaken. You're going against his commandments. You're going against the laws of God. He don't hear you. He is not hearing you. The answers you're getting are from Satan. You are not getting, your prayers are not getting answered because the most has God, the most has, the, uh, the body, in John 9, 31, it says you don't hear the prayers of, of sinners. So you have to understand that. Um, you got something? Yeah, I was holding this. This, this is going to be a gut punch. This, this <laughs> five sisters that want to, you feel like uh, 
being with the, the white man, the Arab man, that, that's the that's the life. You living it up. Get Isaiah 13. Hey. Isaiah chapter 13 is 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 something to be held in high esteem until you really understand what the Bible says. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Mm. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. That's everybody that joins themselves to the heathen. When you really understand what the Bible is saying, all nations that had a hand in the destruction of the Israelites, they are going to suffer destruction. They're going into captivity. Everything that we went through and still going through, God hey. said they're going to get double. Hey. Read on. Their children. Their what? Their children. This ain't talking about the ones that are Israelites. Right. We ain't hey. talking about the ones that have the heathen mothers because they still got a pathway to salvation. Hey. Salvation is still open to them. This is the ones who think that they are black, but they are the seed of another nation. Read. Their children also shall be also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Uh-huh. Their houses shall be spoiled. Uh-huh. And their wives ravished. This is what's gonna happen to the heathen's children that get multiplied. Remember what the Bible say, if his children multiplied, it's for the what? For the slaughter. The Bible different now. You looking at God different now. When you go out here, you in, in the midst of your whoredom and you sleeping, particularly our sisters, you sleeping with these other men of these other nations and then you hear what the Bible is actually saying, you got to change your heart now. Stop messing with them heathen men. So God don't love everybody? Nope. God don't love everybody. That's fairy tale. That's Christianity. Jesus loved the little children. Hell no. You gonna learn today. <laughs> Cesare do. Cesare boys do. That fa that false image. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, loves the Israelite children. That's right. Hey, you know what? This is a sidebar. Everybody that I know say that name a different way every time. Cesare Boys. What 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 what? what? Caesar Boj? Cesare Boys. The devil. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> so we, we got two more videos or three. It's three. So before we watch these, because these other, these next three videos are the flip side. So the ones we watched prior to was uh, black fathers, white mothers. Except that last one, she was dealing with both. But the videos that we about to watch now is dealing with white fathers that had either black uh, uh, children by a black woman or they had they have grandchildren. But before we watch these videos, read Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 or 4? Four. 4. Read 2 and 4. <laughs> Seven seconds, reader. Two. Come on. All right. Habakkuk what, sir? Two and four. The book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse four. Oh, yeah. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. This is what you gotta understand. And this this is for the, the, the Caucasian, the Caucasian male and the Caucasian female. They spirit ain't right. They spirit ain't right. They ain't they ain't no uh Easy slicing, ain't no easy way of saying they spirit ain't right. That's why these these uh mixed children grow up confused, they spirit ain't right. And we're gonna see that. Now one more. Get Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. Damn, so you can't dress it up. You can't try Ain't no way of dressing it up. <laughs> and you you gonna you're gonna see in these videos. The book of Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust your enemy. Your enemy is the same people that had that, that took you on slave ships and brought you over to the shores of, of America. They brought it, took you over to the shores of Europe and Spain. Those are your, the, the, the same people that came and colonized your land. 
Those are your enemies. The so-called Caucasian man is your enemy. That's why they have disdain. That's why we watched where you had the young the the uh the young man that was on the one video said his uncle yep. was was uh posting, posting racial slurs and talking about he was gonna kill the Black Lives Matter and all of that. And he knew that it was directed towards him. That's why, because they spirit ain't right. Like iron rusted, so iron for what they you can shine iron up. And it look good, look all shiny, right. look like it's good. And then over time, it's just going to rust. The evil going to come to the forefront. No matter how you slice it, how many times you, you can apologize, they can apologize and, and say they didn't mean this or they changing their heart, they changing their mind. No. Nah. Gonna it's going to rust. Mouth. I'm not kidding. Hey, officer, didn't they just have a video, I don't know if you've seen it, of some Edomites praying? Down. I don't think they was bowed down before... Judah saying, yeah, God, please forgive my people for killing these people. Oh, man, I don't, th- I don't, on, man. I don't recall this. that. Come on, man. Let's play that if we let's let's pull it up. But let's play this. Let's play this video. If y'all can find that one uh, download it so we can play it real quick. But play this one real quick. Bring it out. I was kind of raised, you know, to be us against them. So he said, no, I he know said that he was I raised to be us against them. Meaning whites against blacks. He was raised like that. And that's how most, that's how most, all of them are raised. Go ahead, play it. And I was kind of raised, you know, to be us against them. I know that if I see a group of white kids and I see a group of black kids, I'm going to be more on guard with the black kids because of the way that I was trained, the way I was raised. I'm just trying to, I guess, be really honest. His name is Steve Ramey, a Washington father with a secret that few people would have the courage to say out loud. I know it's a really harsh thing to say and I don't want to say it and I know that people are going to take it wrong, but I know that that I'm racist and I don't want to be, I don't mean to be. Um, I'm trying not to be, I'm trying to and that's kind of what we're doing here is how, how do I not be, you know, um, when it's been ingrained in me for my whole life. I'm 60 years old. So my daughter is mixed and we never really had a conversation about how that affects her. He's raised his daughter so, Kate, uh, since uh, she uh, was five years so old. So this is this is where it really don't make no sense. The devil, so devil, devil. you're racist, but you laid down with a black woman. Why aren't you a racist? Had a black woman, had a black baby. Well, so uh, you you lay down with a black woman. That's not his grandchild. No, that's his that's his daughter. But he he's he's a he was raised us against them. But somehow them became in his bed and he had a baby. Bruh. That's his, the spirit ain't right. Hey, officer, you know what that is too. They they just like for you. I got to say it, dumb women out there. You just a thrill to them. The Bible call them silly women. Silly uh-huh. women. You laden with iniquities. Yep. I never had one before. That's that's what the conversation be. Yep. They already assume that all black and Hispanic women loose. So they want to have a time. I want to try that. That's exotic to me. Yep. So play on. I went to like a mostly white school. I would get called names a lot. They'd call me like like brownie or like like racist names or they call me um uh like monkey, like a monkey. I didn't really know that I was racist. I'm confused with my identities. An interracial family rocked by a racial justice uprising, searching for answers. What I can do personally is give my daughter a voice. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to hopefully learn what can I do to be um, more conscious about being racist. Starting in February, facing race goes deeper with race educator and coach Karina Hooks. We're just going to have to have real honest conversations. What do you think's wrong with you? Not good enough. According to who? To the white man. To help a Washington family face race head on. I do say racist stuff, and I don't I mean, you know, I'll, 
A lot of it's out of humor. How does it make you feel? Uncomfortable and angry. But what if your jokes and your words harm? No, now, you, now I can't even laugh. I, I know I'm going to be challenged. Or I know I'm probably going to get angry. I think there will be, at points in our journey, just some harsh but transformational moments. I think it's going to be beneficial, though. So that's that's even more levels of the confusion because she she has black skin or dark skin, but she's actually an Edomite. So his racial slurs don't apply to her. Hell no. The, the racial slurs don't even apply to her, but she feels some type of way when he say it. Or when she go to school and she get called a monkey. Brownie. That was one of the names. Of it. But she's not She's not a, technically, she's not a brownie. She just got the, the complexion. Right. That's a white woman. Exactly. Don't say what so, it is. So play that next one. Oh, this is that video. Play it. People can't see it. People can't see it. Guys, we're just humbling ourselves before you. Yes, Lord. You brought the thunder and rain today, God. Because Satan takes the L today. Father, in Jesus' name, you get the victory. Look at him crying. Look at him standing up there crying. Oh, wait, oh, my life. Look at him. He feels such a sense of relief. Bro, I can't. I can't. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Yes, sir, rock 12 and 11. I can't. I can't. Y'all black folks, simple. These type of black folks, our people, I got to call it what it is. You are the type. You will hug them after they blow your mother or your father's head off. You will go hug them. I forgive you. I understand you didn't mean it. Kill your relative in cold blood. Who does that? You will circle around and pray over them. They really think. That this is gonna this is gonna cause some change because they kneeling down before you and they they so called praying to God they praying to Satan Crazy. they so called praying to ask him for forgiveness the only way they gonna really change the tide they gotta give us back our identity give us back all the lands that they stole and put us back in the land of Israel they not gonna do that they not gonna do that get to rock twelve and eleven. The book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 11. This is all BS. Read. Though he humble himself and go crouching. That's what he doing. That's what all of them doing. They humbling themselves. They putting themselves in a, a lower state in front of you temporarily to look a certain way. I'm not like all the others. I'm different. Read. Yet, take good heed and beware of him. God said don't fall for that. God said, do not fall for that. These is the same race of people that was burning us in Rome, that was burning us over here in America, lynching us, tarring, feathering us, coming up with different laws that specifically affect our people. Read. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou had his wife a looking glass. Uh -huh. And thou shalt know. That is, rust have not all have been altogether wiped away. God is saying it don't matter what he try to portray himself as. He's still wicked, like the officer was bringing out. His spirit ain't right. You know something else the Bible shows? Why they up here praying? The Bible shows when they was under the name of the Greeks, they was burning Bibles. That's what the Bible shows. So now they sit up here praying, like that scripture you brought out. How shall thou have? How shall thou have my statues? How how should you you speak my statues? You cast my law behind you. You cast back. my law behind you. They was burning Bibles, so all of this this is BS. But only the simple minded of our people fall for this stuff. They up here crying. Terrible. Well, pull up that next video. I like how I say the rust has not been wiped away. The most high keeps trying to give you hints and clues to who he's talking about and where you at. Remember, 
the iron and the clay won't mix. Right. This is a there place of different type of people. The Lord is saying there is separation. And then we, this man is, go ahead. No, go ahead. This go ahead. man is iron. He is the way he is because the Lord made him that way. He trying to get you to realize this wicked man is who he is. He's not changing. You can't love him. You can't be a baby mama for him. You can't be a baby daddy to his, his wife to make them change. They will not change. Can't we all just get along? Not at all. And then we think about rust. So with rust, if iron start rusting, you can spray the spray some black spray paint on it. It's gonna turn black. It's gonna, it's gonna appear like the rust is gone. Look like but Bob over, Marley. Huh? It's gonna look like Bob Marley. Right. It's gonna, but over time that Ooh. rust gonna, that rust gonna come return and it's gonna come right back. Oh, yeah. that, that paint gonna. So it's gonna that, that rust gonna still eat away yep. because rust destroys and it's just gonna come right back like like it wasn't painted. <laughs> you can't you can't you can't hide rust. But I donate to black charities. You can't hide it. It's gonna come. It's gonna research. So play the next video. This is a letter I received last March. Um, it says, Selena was 15, a very promising uh, trackster. I was very proud of her accomplishments. I played sports with black kids all my life. They were my friends, so I encouraged my children to do the same. But I also told her not to interpret this, that it was okay to have a black boyfriend. I explained that it was so socially unacceptable that it would cause her and her family nothing but grief. My explanation didn't work. Her son, Seth, was born January 1985. And that's what this is all about, the transformation of a bigot, me. I love my grandson more than life. I worry that he will spend his life bumping into people who are like I was. Who are like I was. I see, see through his eyes. He is my world. I love all my children and my wife, but I know that Seth needs me more. What made you change that? Look at him. Hiya, Seth. How you doing there, buddy? How are you doing today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I wish I could read all of all of that letter because it really is a great letter. But I will let him tell you the rest of the story. Please welcome Jim Smokey Rainey from Mount Vernon, Indiana. You say here, how can anyone scorn a cute little four-year-old boy because of the color of his skin? But you did for a while? Well, he was he was born for a while before we, we grew close. Hey, uh, officer, I, I have one thing. I ain't going to be long. She said that somebody said, how can someone scorn a four-year-old? Didn't they kill a 14-year-old by the name of Emmett Till from Chicago? Oh, no. Yep. They killed children. So yep. That's irrelevant, that statement. They not, to mention, not to mention the gator bait. Gator bait. So, the scripture say, let's read that real quick. Just, just the, the Deuteronomy 28 and 49. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. Uh -huh. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Read. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. They don't give a damn if you old and, and your eyes diminishing, your, your knees going out, your back going out, or if you a two-year-old, if a two-year-old two -year -old child that don't really understand what's going on yet. They don't care. This is all BS. They spirit ain't right. They 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 follow after Satan, the father of lies. That's their father. Uh, uh, play. I was gonna say read. You say here, how can anyone scorn a cute little four-year-old boy because of the color of his skin? But you did for a while. Well. He was, he was born for a while before we, we grew close. Uh, I have to admit, when he was born, I started changing from that point on. But uh, we grew closer together, and of course, Selena and Seth lived with us after he was born. We became buddies, and I, I, he's part of me, and I, uh, I'm ashamed of the way I felt before. I, I came from a good, good family. Uh, we thought we were doing what was right, but... We always thought we were just a little bit better than black people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think that's uncommon amongst people 
like myself. Uh, I don't think it's uncommon either um, amongst white people in general. And I would, I would, vent, I would, I can say as honestly as I know in my own spirit that I don't think that I'm a racist. But I find it hard to understand how it's even possible if you are raised in this society and you are raised a white person. I don't see how you grow up not thinking you're better because everything in society points toward telling you that you're better. Don't y'all agree? It's absolutely, I think it's the truth. That's what she was un- Ain't nobody clapping? The truth. Ain't nobody clapping. Nobody clap. She That's said, the whole don't, y'all, is don't y'all agree? They like. Oh, so. Look how they looking. Look how they looking at her. When she look how they all comfortable. Look how, look how she looking at her. Look at the lady with the blind. Right. The Put the curse on her. Put the curse yeah, on her. Yeah, look how she looking at her. Look at the one in the red. Do you, okay, the her one, and then right the one. Before her, right the one right before her. Right don't, no, no, no. Other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. Her, down, nope. Up, 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 her. Right look at there. her face. Damn, this, look this, at this, that. Just say what I think she just said. Nobody clap. But they clap when she give out stuff. Why, why the wow. black folks? Ain't nobody clap. The dykes on the bottom, they're like, this lady is bold. Damn. That's when it was unfiltered and play, play, that, play that one more time. Just just go back. Just she had bit. some fire back then. What happened? Hey, they told her don't ever say nothing like that ever in your life again. <laughs> you're better because everything in society points toward telling you that you're better. Don't y'all agree? It's absolutely, I think it's the truth. You don't have to applaud, but I think it's the truth. Don't, and so, uh, you didn't have parents, hey. even if you don't have parents that sit you down and say, now look here now, Smokey, you are better than black people. Uh, everything that you see, every magazine, every television ad, everything that you see in society says to you that you yes, are important. You and somewhere you get in your head that maybe I'm better. Is that not true? As long as black people stay in their place, I believe that was common. Uh-huh. He uh-huh. just cut so the hell bright. out of her. He's a good old black guy. Woo. That was directly, that was directed to Oprah. Yep. Stay in your damn place. Yep. He said, you going too far. That's basically what he said. I never met that Oprah, but I missed that Oprah. Bruh. Right. I wish that Oprah would, would had the, 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 the fortitude to stand up with her voice and say those things consistently. Right. She don't talk like this today. She, I never heard her talk like that. that before. This fire that we seeing, she don't talk like that today. And that just lets you know that ain't her place. That's not right. her place. That's the place of the prophets. That's yeah. right. Hey. Yep. Play. Yep. I bet he stayed in his place. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, uh, until Seth came along, I really didn't. Didn't give that a whole lot of thought. I just accepted that for the way it was. Mm-hmm. And what, where, where exactly well, was our place in your mind? Well, not this in my way and not thinking you're better than me. This I is propaganda. That- they go on a nationally syndicated show to show you that white men who are racist are actually working on being better. Right. To pull the wool over your eyes. Yep. Hey, this is exactly BS. You can see the fire. You can see the racism in his response when he told her, yeah, stay in your place. Yep. I'm not kidding. And he, he tried ain't changed. To, he, he tried to clean it up, so-called. Yeah, he ain't changed. That's Her. BS. Play. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, uh, with Seth, I, I felt that uh, he's, he's, he's part of me. And the color of his skin doesn't make any difference. And at that point, I started changing how I looked at things. And, uh-huh. Uh, he's he's put up with some problems, and uh, it really really hurts me bad to think that he's having problems with people that were exactly like I was just five years ago. Mm-hmm. Hi, you. I need you to shut the hell up. So Save we got a future. <laughs> we got one. We got one more, right? Let's play. How long is that last one? Let's play that real quick. Bias is creepy. Bias is sneaky. You don't realize it's in there until a moment like that. That was weird. Oh, she's adopted. So they adopted. That's even worse. That is even that's, worse. That's even worse. You already got the ones who who uh who are fathered. Right. About the enemy, but this is why 
We must learn God's laws. The hell is this? We got to get our mind right. Or, like it say, I don't want to take up time. Like it's saying Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 32, your children given to another people. This is what will happen. You got DCFS, but also your children getting adopted by the heathen. They're going to corrupt that little girl. No, sir. That little girl is going to have a, a false sense of reality. Because she's going to think her life better because they got money. They got she able to get access to certain stuff. Oh, yeah. She's going to be snobby. Snobby. But then she going to get that nigga wake up call. You ain't white. Yep. Bruh. So this is this is terrible. This is why we got to get our minds right. Go ahead, officer. So uh, play a little bit more of this. We're going to play the whole thing. It's what, two, two minutes? <laughs> I have two daughters. My 11-year-old, Callie, is kind of like me. Callie, what do people say when they find out that you have white parents? Sometimes they're like, oh, you don't look like you're that much. I want to talk to you. I'm in seventh grade. I look at Callie and I see an innocent little 11-year-old girl. I usually just think about Netflix and shoes and school, of course. There's the possibility that you might be treated differently by some people from your sister just based on the fact that you're black and Sydney's white. When you have to say something like that to your kid, it's really sad. It just felt like we were bursting her bubble. She done lost her dancing like skills. You, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. They done corrupted my sister. She can't even dance no, no more. You gotta Ain't shut no your white mouth. I'm she dance like Carlton. Ain't no way. Yeah. I just saw a white woman sitting at a bus stop. 20, 30 feet away was a black guy walking down the street. And for some reason, I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna watch just to make sure that she's okay. I he looked at this so guy green. differently based solely on the fact that he was black. I was really disappointed in myself. It's something we need to talk about. This post is embarrassing. This post is saying something that doesn't put me in a very good light. But I thought it was important. If I want people to talk, well, I have to put myself out there first. Ashton Kutcher retweeted that. You can't change anything until you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I have this bias, so what am I going to do about it now? I do something a little bit different based on everything that happened. Why are you Why are you a racist? We all have. He look like a friendly I white man that don't but cause I... no problems, no issues. Exactly. Secretly, he probably got a whole clan outfit in the closet. Right. Damn. Yeah. So yeah, I'm that's trying you to. Can, you just drop it. So we get. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna close out with this one last scripture. Get. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 13. I knew you was going there. 23. Hey, 13 and 23. Because this is the issue. This is the solution. This is the number one solution. We read a couple of solutions. But this is the solution. Because we've done these things ignorantly. The, the last case was an adoption. But we've done it. And then you know what? I don't know if you all peep. The second to last video, that might have been an adoption too. Because the mother was white. Yep. Or the father, but the the last one, the the young lady actually looked like the father. Right. But that means that maybe whatever, cheated, man. I don't know. Maybe maybe you talking about this one? No, nah, the nah. other, no, nah, the one before that. The oh, first, right. it probably was the first one. Yeah. Maybe he married her after. Right. He probably yeah. married her after. Hey, some have popped in my head too. A lot of the, these, these, uh, these other nations that's entertainers, uh -huh. they be messing up our children when they adopt them. Yeah. I can't remember that one entertainer name. She popped Madonna. in my head. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie yeah. She adopted a black boy. He like 18, 9. Yeah. He effeminate, dressing him as a girl. Hey. This is why we got to get our minds right. Yeah. Because they corrupt our children. They like little pets. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. 
Yeah, so uh, read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, and verse 23. In those days also saw I Jews that had maybe wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. So these Jews are the Israelites, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They married wives of the other nations. Read. Hey, officer, hold on. You, you think you slick. I heard what you said. You said this is the solution. I like this. I knew this. I knew I knew somebody was gonna go here and be like, yeah, this is the solution. This is what we need to do. Pay attention. Crazy brothers, calm down. Okay. <laughs> Crazy brothers, calm down. Verse 24. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. This is what we just read, what we watched in the, the earlier yeah. um the earlier videos. What is what you had the 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 uh, the so-called black children discussing how their white mother couldn't show them their heritage. Right. It's the same thing. Right. They could not at this time. They could not speak in the Jews' language uh -huh. because they was being raised. Because the mother is the one that generally raises up the children in the home. They teach the children. Uh -huh. So the, they was teaching the children. They couldn't speak in the Jews' language. Read. And I contended with them and cursed them. And smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, uh -huh. nor take their daughters unto your sons. So or Nehemiah is reminding them of the law in Deuteronomy 7 and 3. He's rebuking them. He's rebuking them and putting hands on them. Mm. Read. Or for yourselves. Uh huh. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin? By these things? He's letting them know that. Uh, did y'all not read the history? Y'all not that hear the history and pay attention to the history? Sol King Solomon sinned by doing these things. Uh. And now here y'all doing, doing, doing the same thing? Did y'all not see the results of what happened? Solomon sinned by doing these things and the nation was destroyed. Now we, we in our enemy's land, we doing this. And y'all didn't see that? Y'all didn't realize that? Read it out. Yet among many nations was there no king like him. Uh huh. Who was beloved of his God? Read. And God made him king over all Israel. Read. Nevertheless, even him, the outlandish women, caused the sin. Outlandish oh. women. These other nations of women, they caused him to sin. Exotic. Even though he was the say. I was saying exotic, outlandish. Right. Yeah. So even though he was the, he, even though he was beloved of God, and God made him king of all Israel, these women made him sin. Read. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil? So what you think? We should follow after you and do this evil? Read. To transgress against our God and marrying strange wives? Read. And one of the sons of jo Joada, the son of Elisha, the high priest, was, was son-in-law to Sanballat, the Horonite. Therefore I chased him from me. Read. Remember them, <laughs> O oh my God. Because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood. So the most so he said, remember them, oh my God. Meaning remember this and remember this and judge they for this. Because they they they, they going against your laws. They going to, don't don't what he say, don't pardon for don't pardon them for this. They went against your ways. Read Bring it out. That's right. And of the Levites, thus cleanse I them from all strangers, and appointed the wars of the priests. And the Levites, everyone, everyone in his business. And for the wood offering at times appointed for the first fruit, remember me, oh my God, for good. I feel like I missed the point. Uh, uh, verse 25. <laughs> Go back to 25. Verse 25. Finish him. And I contended with them. So he said he contended with them, read. And cursed them. Uh-huh. And smote certain of them. Read. And plucked off their hair. Read. And made them swear by God. And he said he made them swear by God. He rebuked them. He contended with them. He plucked <laughs> off their hair. He laid hands <laughs> on them. That's right. And he said he made them swear. Read. Saying, ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons. Stop giving your daughters to their sons. Hey. Read. Nor take their daughters unto your sons. And don't take their daughters to your sons. Hey. They're going to they will cause them to fall away, read. Or for yourselves. Or for yourselves. That's right. I feel like it's another scripture that I'm looking for. This is you another, something else that I'm looking for. Uh, with Phineas, with the job. 
Nah, it's something else I'm looking oh, for. Okay. But, but with that, that's that says it all. You gotta come. We read it in First Corinthians two. It says, "Come out from among them and be ye separate. Stop dealing with the other nations. That's the solution. Because you you have children by them, and your children will grow up confused, distraught." Right. Low self esteem, right. don't know which way is right, which way is up, which right. way is down. You gotta leave these other nations alone, That's especially right. the Caucasian woman. Right. That's right. So, you tune in, tune in to another episode of the Watchman Radio, the Decree of the Watchers. I am Officer Simakaya. Officer Asa. And I am your Officer Yokono. Shalom. See you next time. All praises. Hebrews 13, 17, prophets on the scene, wash your souls clean before we go into the gasoline. Took a while to understand, Psalms 1 and 11, 10. Brother calling me from Mississippi, trying to build a man. I flushed 14 grams, it made angels rejoice. It made me and Satan divorce, no spouse support. I'm running the course with my hand to the plow. Now, putting in the pepper the way Soldier James taught me how. Break it out and strengthen my spirit when we in the building. Ain't no feeling like giving the priest up for a priest of giving Preach in MOV conditions Teach self a second living We Second Timothy 215 represent us Sheesh Will the common interest prophesy to the wind Reveal the man of sin Endure it to the end We watch the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel We the watchmen for Israel Cause we watch it for Israel we the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel.